Warriors. We have an airplane this time. My the dad. engine on it. We had, we had a little problem last time. You, you lost your stock. From one of yep, on the way to uh, Sun and Fun, I had that little incident, but we're we're going strong, so I'm not complaining. No, this aircraft is, or this engine is installed in what aircraft? Uh, this is on the Just Aircraft Escapade, uh, the Highlander type aircraft, and uh, it's an ideal installation, as I said, for a high wing plane. A stall performance engine on a high wing plane where uh, you need a good thrust and uh, uh, a nice size prop. Now, what is a little bit of history on this engine? What the type of uh, engine are we using as a uh, base to go from? Okay, this is a VW based engine, but it's not, um, as I said before, your grandmother's VW Bug uh, 1600. This is a 2.3 liter engine. Uh, the engine is built uh, very much to the specifications that you'd see in a typical race configuration such as like the Baja 500 for sand rails and so forth. So you've got a high performance race engine here that's capable of doing 6,000 RPM but we only turn in the maximum power at 4260, 4260. And you've got a belt reductor drive on it, what type of ratios are we using for it? We can use anything from 1.6 to 2.1 uh, reduction, uh, depending on what size prop and what kind of flying you require, uh, we can customize that top pulley to make that reduction for you. Now, the engine itself, is it like a dual ignition? No. Uh, we do have the dual ignition uh, two spark plugs per cylinder option. Uh, this engine does not have that on. We're using uh, automotive uh, spark plugs with a four-pack coil. So you've got redundancy in that already. The pickup is a four-sensor hall effect. Three of them have to go bad and you'll still be running on the fourth one. Uh, as you well know, your car engines these days and the spark plugs are made so much better that uh, very rarely do you see a spark plug fail. Yeah, the FADAC, uh, the engine control unit, will compensate as much as possible by enriching for that cylinder, but you're not going to have a spark there, so that cylinder is not making power. So you'll have an immediate power reduction. But once again, these engines are very rugged, you know, they're very forgiving. Anyone who's driven the old VW bugs will tell you they ran the engine in different conditions, so it should be very strong. Okay. The, the fuel injection system, as you can see here, is controlled by engine control unit fuel injection system. This fuel injection system has been used on race car industry for many years now. The fuel injection is totally independent. It'll it'll monitor the temperatures, the exhaust gases, as well as give you feedback from the engine position. It'll compensate for altitude using a map sensor, that's a manifold air pressure sensor. So once you've mapped the engine, and we do map it prior to shipping it to you, matter of fact, this engine would have run at least six to eight hours before you receive it. So we've checked it out and made sure that it runs well. Uh, the whole engine, as we've actually mounted it uh, here, that includes all the piping that you see, including the exhaust, including the two fuel pumps and the uh, engine control unit that's on the inside. All the looms are wired, put on a scale, because you took it off to wait for the CFG of this engine. came in at 184 pounds. I believe the Rotex 912 will probably be 7 or 8 pounds lighter. And uh, but it's lighter, just a bit lighter than 940, all installed, and that's if you take everything else out. Now, this is also with oil in it. It's a wet weight. Hundred and ten horsepower. You can get hundred and ten plus. This particular one, we're we're tuning it for hundred and seventeen horsepower. And uh, reliably, you can always count on a hundred horsepower for sure. But with the reduction drive and the fact that you've got a large displacement engine, there's no replacement for displacement as far as your torque goes. You've got a very strong grunt, low end grunt engine that can really put out a lot of power on the bottom end, where you do most of your stall type flying. At the top end, uh, we're looking, we haven't tested it as such on this particular airframe configuration, but I'm hoping to see better than 15 to 17 liters per hour. 
let's call that four gallons and at cruise we should see close to three if not just a bit under three gallons power which but no no it's actually very comparable well as I said before um, our TBO is estimated at a thousand hours we've seen the engines go past a thousand hours however we strongly recommend to do on condition maintenance as opposed to counting on a TBO uh, the engine is very easily serviceable an oil change with the oil filter only costing about five dollars and using 30 weight uh, uh, SAE 30 motor oil it costs very little to maintain this engine in good neck uh, the better you look after the engine the better your total TBO will be when you do come to rebuild it, the typical rebuild cost would be under $1,000 for the whole engine. And would uh, the owner uh, be able to do that type of uh, Absolutely. Thing? Absolutely. Anyone who's uh, had a little bit of mechanical, uh, mechanical experience on engines should be able to do most of the rebuild work. Uh, the, the big components aren't going to wear. We've got Nicosel cylinders that don't wear. We've got a very large valve. Um, cylinder head that's not going to wear. So as far as uh, internals go, uh, you can get the Chevy journals uh, for a set less than $50. The rings you can get less than $35. So it's a very, very economical engine to maintain. And that's the key. Is there different mounting uh, arrangements of that for the engine for different aircraft? I mean, I see in the, the different, uh, for example, we got in the Highlander here. What other mounts are available? Where is it mounted? We prefer to use the deal case mount uh, configuration. There are other uh, mounts available, but we typically like to mount it on the rear of the engine with the prop takeoff being from the front going to the reduction drive, which carries all the gyros gyroscopic forces and power, etc. So this is typically how we like to mount our engine. Please go have a look at my website. It's bushkingperformance.com. That's Bush King Performance. Or shoot me an email at info at bushkingperformance.com. Sure, 954-871-4104. We've got two locations. The one is in Concord, North Carolina. And another one is in Coral Springs, Florida. Uh, we have two in crates right now ready to go. Uh, our typical delivery time is four to six weeks. Uh, but usually we have them on hand. Uh, at the very longest, if you needed something changed or something customized, it'll be eight weeks. But uh, we could put these engines together in short order and we have a lot of on stock. Thank you, David.